Now, I know that it does charitable acts. It's set up to do uh, charity work um, on an international and level. Susila Dharma makes me think on overseas project mainly. It was something that Bapa said we should do. A, a slight feeling of guilt that I don't uh, donate more money to it. It means uh, the humanitarian projects of Subud. It's a charitable aspect of this brotherhood we belong to called Subud. It means, for God's sake, empty your pockets and give them as much money as you can. It does projects, doesn't it, in, 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 um, in different countries? that are kind of about um, supporting people who are in some way disadvantaged or underprivileged or need, have needs that haven't been met. It does stuff internationally, so, but it's nothing that anyone I've ever spoken to has ever heard of who's not in Sudan. This is Shusilla Dharma Britain in action today, supporting a dance project for young offenders in Bradford. Perhaps a far cry from what many people regard as being what the charity is all about. Cecilia Dharma Britain, it's, it's mainly, the donations are coming mainly from British members uh, and one would feel that uh, it would be slightly strange if we weren't trying to support uh, good works in this country as well. And uh, something like Dance United, you know, it's really touched a lot of people. At the beginning of, of the, uh, the long-term project, we have what is called an intensive three-week performance project where the young people come in, they learn a piece of choreography and then they perform it in a professional venue within three weeks. So you're seeing us the day before performance. They're generally young people who are either at risk of offending or have offended or socially excluded in some way. It gives them a focus and a discipline and it, the way that we work them, the standards that we demand, allows them to achieve things they never thought possible and no one else thought possible of them either. So the fact that we push them so hard and they get to an incredible place, it then starts to change fundamentally what they think as human beings. The small amount of money which we gave to Dance United last year, which was to help them to think about their, the progression routes for their young people, how they moved on with the knowledge and experience that they gained from that experience, how they moved into the world with that, is being very useful. One of our lads dancing with us at the moment is our role model. Um, he's now at Bradford Co College in his second year. He hasn't re-offended. It was two years ago that he came from Bradford Youth Offending Team and he's auditioning for professional dance training now. While Shazilla Dharma Britain supports very visible work such as the Academy Project of Dance United, how is the charity seen within the Subud organisation itself? Actually, Sushila Dharma activities are at the very heart of what we do and need to be kept there. Sushila Dharma is the window for others into Subud in one shape or form or another. This window provides a view which spans the globe from a Sushila Dharma supported orphanage in Indonesia through to a mind clearing project education initiatives around the world, help for slum children in India, and the International Child Development Programme, which to date has been rolled out to over 200,000 families in South America, starting with a grant from Sazila Dharma Britain, and has now been adopted by UNICEF as part of their programme. The International Child Development Programme all started from a grant from Sazila Dharma Britain of a few thousand pounds. So it's possible to see what a very small amount of money can do in a relatively short amount of time. As well as specific ongoing projects, Shushila Dharma Britain is also able to channel one-off donations when disasters and emergencies around the world raise awareness of immediate need. Because donations to Shushila Dharma Britain attract the bonus of gift aid, this makes giving more effective and the charity helps target points of maximum need. This is done in close cooperation with the international arm of Shishila Dharma, which is able to coordinate aid across the world, ensuring that help is maximized and focused. 
some of the main projects that we support, that perhaps we're most well known for supporting, are the sort of Indian projects, the uh, Mithra and the Shraddha projects. And Mithra we've supported for a long, long time. And again, for relatively small amounts of money, we've been able to fund a school in the slums, vocational training for women. We also support the teachers' salaries. We've helped to build not only the schools, but also some agricultural centres further south. Now, of course, we also have to make sure that our money is being used in a sustainable manner. And so one of the things that we've done in Sosilodama Britain is to move away from perhaps funding the sort of capital uh, things like buildings uh, and like re recurrent costs like salaries to really focusing on those elements of the projects which help those projects to become more sustainable. So in other words, vocational training, micro-enterprises, micro-finance. This increasing emphasis on development and sustainability is well demonstrated in the important work being done by ClearPath, a charity set up by Sibud member Imbet Mati to deal with the horrific consequences of landmines. The work is intensely practical and as well as clearing live mines and other ordnance, seeks to rebuild the shattered lives of victims and their families. A huge job that started from very small beginnings. The landmine project that we support, that started very small with small amounts of money assisting small amounts of people. But because of the actual progress that they made, the content that was in there, the success that they were having, they were able to attract more and more funds from uh, other institutions to the extent that although we still support that, um, that, that money from us is actually down at the smaller end. They're getting a lot more money from other people. Uh, but that was a Subud project, started by a Subud member, uh, managed by a Subud member, and is now a very well-respected NGO operation. And that's the sort of thing that we're looking to uh, move forwards on. The picture around the world is one where individual initiatives find support from Shushila Dharma, increasingly in a way which then attracts further support from other organizations and donors, so that quite modest outlays can have really far-reaching results. It's a policy which sees Sushila Dharma Britain achieving far more than would seem possible for its size. Everybody can see from looking at the list of projects that might be being supported at any one time, how very varied the needs are and how very varied um, the interests of super members are because they do reflect our interests, actually, all these projects. We don't give grants of particularly large amounts. I've already sort of said about how those uh, small amounts can go a long way. And of course, you know, £10 to us doesn't seem like a lot, but £10 in the developing world goes a long way. There are endless ways of raising money within our groups, and it isn't about, you know, trying to get the last penny out of an individual. It's much more about group activity and about raising group awareness. So if you don't have money, but you have some other resource, then think about how you might use that. For more information about Shushila Dharma Britain and how you can donate or become more involved, go to the website or call the following numbers.